Hi guys, it's Annie Margarita Yang back with another Annie Yang financial video for you today. Today I will be doing an honest review of two different AI headshot generators. The reason I'm merging them both into one is because after I finished recording both of those videos, my goodness, I realized that because I switched from using this headset where the microphone comes from here back to using this microphone, my podcast mic, I forgot to change the setting in OBS Studio to record from this mic. So actually the entire video that I recorded had no sound in it whatsoever. Ah, ah, okay. We all make stupid mistakes like that. Anyway, if you're new to this uh, series, I've been basically reviewing AI headshot generators. I'm going to be reviewing about 21 of them. The reason is because I'm going to be speaking at colleges and universities and I discovered that one of the problems that college students have or anyone on a low income has is that they cannot afford to pay $300 to $500 for a professional headshot from an actual photographer. And I'm basically, I am trying to look for a really affordable solution one that's cost effective, um, t you know, time efficient for people uh, to still like get a professional headshot for their LinkedIn profile if they can just maybe upload pictures with their iPhone into these softwares and, you know, get an AI generated picture. So I'm basically paying out of my own pocket for all of these services to see if there's something out there that um, will come out with a realistic looking result, um, one that like looks natural and still resembles what your face actually looks like. I think at this point, comma is number 12 that I'm doing a review of. We're doing media IO today and comma. So um, in one of those previous recordings, I did say that I was trying out neural.love, but then upon uh, checking out the site, it turns out that they don't actually do AI generated headshots. What neural love does is you upload this old black and white photograph that you have, and then it will try to basically restore the photo. Do you know, like just like those black and white movies that people had back in the day? Well, then we have like color version because the color was added afterward. Similar to that, like it will take an old photograph that's only in black and white, and then it will add color to the picture. Uh, that's that's basically what it does. It doesn't like generate new looking professional headshots for your LinkedIn profile. So um, that is off the list. So I originally had 23, but actually now I'm only going to be reviewing 21. Uh, we're going to do media.io. Just for the record, the pictures came out bad, okay? But they have three plans. And if you do want to use this plan, it, it's, it's, it's a total ripoff because of course, guys, I buy the most expensive plan because I want to see what my money can buy. You know, like I want to get the most premium package any, any of these services have because I want to see what they're capable of. So I bought the $12.99 plan for 150 photos. But then in the fine print, like if you actually look further, when you buy the value plan for $12.99, what you actually get is you get three basic plans. So they're, they're just like three different photo shoots or what you call it. Um, upon discovering that, I was like, oh, I bought a plan that I didn't need because I only needed one photo shoot. I only wanted like um, a corporate looking uh, photo shoot. I didn't want the other styles, but because I already paid for it, you know, I was like, okay, I'll do the other two photo shoots and, and I'll see what the styles look like. So I will be doing that, okay? I'll be showing you all of those three different styles. Okay, let's let's open it up. Let's let's see where it is. AI headshots. Media IO one. This one was I think the corporate looking headshot. As you can see, they don't look like me. They don't pass my bar. None of these pass my expectations, but I wanted to give you guys a look.
Man, I feel like at this point, starting here, maybe I kind of got my eyes correctly. Kinda, kinda, right? But it's like they don't resemble me at all. Ugh. Good thing I only spent thirteen bucks on this. Here's the second photo shoot from Media.io. Look at this, guys. I could have just went on Google and searched like Chinese woman, you know, or like professional Chinese woman. I could have just downloaded those pictures and said, here you go, Annie. Here's your results, all from AI. <laughs> it's not really sophisticated because you notice like it's all the same face, you know? all the same face in the same position and angle. And look at this. The only thing that changes is the hair, the clothes, and the background. But the face all stays in the same exact place. It hardly moves, you know? Yeah, see? And then here's the last one. The last one I got was a casual one because I just wanted to see what this casual look like and it gives me photos of myself in a bikini or something like that or going hiking. <laughs> see? No resemblance whatsoever. I'm going to have to... Maybe a little bit? I feel like it took my make... It took the, the same lip color from my lipstick. It got that correct, guys. You can see it's not very sophisticated. Let's see. I mean, for once, one of these AIs, they got the the fact that you, my gums show when I smile. Kind of got that correct, but the teeth are not correct. <laughs> All right. That's it. This is a complete pass. Pass on it. Don't waste your money on media.io if you're looking for a AI headshot generator for your LinkedIn profile. The next one is comma.io. Um, so I, I actually saw comments on Reddit prior to using this service, and one of them came back good. And I've, you know, I've come to realize I probably shouldn't be trusting comments on the internet, especially on Reddit, because they have no credibility whatsoever. For all you know, you know like what corporations are doing these days, they look on Reddit. You know, they have these bots go on Reddit to search for topics related to whatever their company is selling. And then like people ask like, oh, can someone of you, someone like give me a review or your personal experience of blah, blah, blah service? Or is there something you recommend? And then these bots go like, oh yeah, I highly recommend this service, blah, blah, blah. And one of them was like, yeah, I had a good experience with comma that I owe. Um, well, I could have done more research into it, but like I saw that one comment and I was like, oh, if someone on Reddit recommended it, it must be good. But you know me. I'm going to spend my money and, and figure it out and see for myself if it's any good. And if you look quickly from this overview, um, it's not so good. I, I hope you can see. Where was it? Oh, yeah. I somehow became a man. This is the first one that turned out a man. Interesting, right? Anyway, let's, let's zoom into these. No, right? They don't, they don't resemble me at all. Like, I'm straight up blonde here. Like, it, it, it couldn't even get, like, the color of my hair correct. I'm blonde. I understand, like, yeah. Um, I don't expect all of these to look perfect, but I do expect these generators that I pay for to come out with a result that is maybe a, a close close enough match. You know, at least with the media.io, all of the hair was black. This one gave me blonde hair. And blue eyes. I 
I like the makeup in this. It doesn't really it it doesn't really look too much like me, but I like that really dramatic look. I like the purple. Looks good. But look, like another one, you know. Like maybe out of the ones I've clicked so far, this one resembles me the most? Perhaps, yeah, maybe. Um, but still, there's this kind of like paint, painted look, if I zoom out. It almost looks like, like a painted portrait rather than like a realistic photograph. So that's also one of the issues with these um, AI generated headshots is like the realism isn't there yet or at least with this particular service, which is like not what we're looking for here, right? For the purpose of what we are using this for, we want that realism. And then this is the also, also the only service that like gave back a whole collage like this. A man, right? Another blonde hair, blue eyes. Yeah, that's it, guys. So, like, it's a hard no. I don't recommend either of these two services, media.io and comma.io. I, I don't recommend it. Don't waste your money on these services. It's just not worth your money and time. Um, how many more do I have left to go? Uh, one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine more to go, so looks like I'm halfway there. Um, I will be uploading the photos from those two AI photo shoots onto my website. If you want to see and compare those results with the others that I have already done, you can head on over to AnnieYangFinancial.com. Go to the book resources section. Scroll down to chapter 16, because chapter 16 in the book is where I actually talk about the importance of getting um, a professional headshot and all this different like advice I have on how to look great in your headshot. And so this is a resource that you can read. It's the article that I will be continually updating for the next two weeks with photos from all of the different generators. So keep an eye on this article. There's also going to be a link in the pinned comments. Um, if you find my videos to be helpful, then I highly recommend you go on AnnieMFinancial.com and you can show your financial support by buying a paperback copy of the five day job search for a limited time only. The book, the signed paperback copy is going to be available for sale. All you need to do is you need to click this orange button, click buy my signed copy now. And upon checkout of like adding the book to your shopping cart, you can use the coupon code WIN. That's spelled W-I-N for a 10% off discount on the signed paperback copy. If you want to get the audiobook because you're on the fence, you're just not sure whether you want to get this book yet or not, you can get the audiobook by going to the top and clicking audiobook. And you can type in your name and your email address and you can get a, um, a copy of the audiobook. It's five hours long, guys. So after you listen to it for five hours, you're gonna realize, gee whiz, this is chock full of so much information. And you're going to want to get the paperback version because the way this book works is you learn something and then you apply, you go back to the book, you apply some more, read the book again, and then you apply some more. It's more like a reference, more like a Bible that you want to keep reading over and over again. It's not something you read in one go and then voila, your life is changed. You know, so that's why it's much easier to get the paperback because when you're referencing it, you can quickly find what you were looking for in the book. That's it for, for today. That's all I have for you guys today. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.